Hey all, welcome back to another episode of Travel with Carter. Here I am in beautiful Turkey, and uh, today we're talking about what can $10 US uh, get while in Turkey. So first off, let's do the exchange. So uh, as of today, uh, 10 US dollars equals 280 Turkish Lira. And I'll quickly show you what the currency looks like, and then uh, more fun, what I can spend it on. All right, so here is uh, some of the bills. So there is the uh, 200, the 100, the 50, there's the 20, the 10, and the 5. Okay, and here is a couple of the coins. There is the, the 1 and the 50 lira cent coin. Okay. So that is the, the full array of uh, bills. As far as I know, there might be bigger than 200, but uh, those are all the ones I've seen so far. So again, as of today, 280 uh, Turkish Lira equals $10 US. And let's go see what I could, was able to spend it on. Enjoy. So this is a government building of sorts, but uh, as I walk past it, I see lots of different flags that I don't recognize and uh, countries I have not yet been to. So. Uh, Turkey's in agreement with them, of course, but uh, definitely looking forward to being able to uh, come back to Central Asia in the near future and uh, check off those countries as well. But uh, I, I recognize one of the flags, uh, Azerbaijan, but uh, the other flags I don't, but can't wait to come back in, uh, um, in this region again and uh, check off some of those other ones. All right, these guys are some of the best. Let's go check it out and uh, see what we can get. Let's get some treats. This is just some of the best baklava in the world. The presentation is unbelievable. give it a try. I got the gold wall behind me. I got the uh, salt in front of me. Let's dive in. Give it a go. There we go. Incredible. You guys, look at that grill. Busy, busy. And check out the meat. couple of the finished product there. Hey all, sorry to stop the video here. I just need to ask a little bit of help from all of you, please. Uh, currently only about 10% of all of you watching my videos are subscribed. So if you could please hit that subscribe button down below, tell a friend, tell a family member, that helps grow my channel. And I'm able to keep uh, living my dream here to be the first person with type one diabetes to go to every single country in the world. So I'm getting there, but if you can subscribe and like these videos, it helps with the uh, magic YouTube algorithms and I can do this more often. Now, that being said, it's, only, it's not only for me. Uh, every time my subscriber count doubles, I'm going to be giving out a prize pack. So I gave one out at uh, uh, 500, gave one out at 1,000. I can't wait to give one out at 2,000. Can't wait to give one out at 4,000, 8,000, etc. So again, please help me and I'm going to help you guys as well. So I'm going to give a nice gift pack with a, a flag, some local souvenirs from uh, whatever country I'm in at that time when it rolls out. So please help me by hitting that subscribe button. 
Stay golden all, appreciate the support. All right, I'm inspired by the golden wall behind me. So I got a golden cappuccino to start uh, coming up in a couple seconds. And then I um, ordered uh, two um, beef sushi. So this uh, that's what this looks like here. It's got uh, beautiful little uh, uh, flakes of uh, onion on top. So normally it comes in a portion of three, but didn't want to ruin my whole appetite. But again, want to try uh, multiple items here as it's uh, a once in a lifetime thing. So here we go. Cappuccino. Cappuccino. Okay, that's, uh, oh, look at that. Nice. Beautiful, 24 karat gold leaf on top. about as over the top as it gets so that's about um, 11 US dollars so I uh, blew my whole $10 budget on this one once-in-a-lifetime cappuccino <laughs> there we go let's give it a shot cheers oh. it's special <laughs> it's the same but uh, it looks special all right, diving into the sushi. Nice bed of rice, beautiful, uh, I believe it's uh, um, tenderloin. Let's dive in. So yeah, definitely a first for me. This is, uh, um, not, not everywhere can you get this. You can't get this at your local uh, Starbucks, but why not? That's, yeah, definitely a first. Having gold leaf stuck to my uh, lip. But, hey, hopefully it won't be the last. Um, cheers, hopefully it inspires you guys. And just a tip, this is the cheapest thing on the gold menu. So 300 lira or about uh, uh, 11 US dollars for a cappuccino. All right, this is what we came for. Snow with the salt bay, all right. Beautiful. Cheers, thank you. All right, so we got the show. Let's see if uh, the taste lives up to it. They stopped doing the uh, shoving in people's mouths part. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So he's just bringing me some uh, grilled asparagus, which uh, is always a must for me at any steakhouse. But uh, yeah, uh, they stopped doing the shove it in people's mouth part unless uh, I guess you're uh, Hollywood, uh, Hollywood A-lister. Uh, just due to um, COVID and sanitary reasons, but either way. So yeah, nice uh, Dijon mustard they recommend and uh, let's give it a bite. Perfect. That's what we came for. Nicely uh, seasoned, beautifully cooked, and of course the little bit of uh, salt just adds that extra extra dimension. So, yeah, I would recommend. Beautiful. So, just a little bit of chef talk for a second. It's a perfect example of a well-rested steak. So this is cooked uh, medium, I asked for. Uh, you can tell it might even be on the medium rare side, but uh, beautifully done, nice and pink on the middle. And it, the juices aren't flowing everywhere, so they uh, uh, probably let it rest for, uh, I would guess, you know, seven or eight minutes prior to serving it to me. So it's not smoking hot, it's still warm, uh, but more importantly, the juices uh, stay within. There you go. 
a little bit of chef uh, geek talk for you or technical talk. Um, <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, beautiful. All right, so that was a, a <laughs> unique experience uh, doing the uh, uh, Nooser at uh, or, or Salt Bay restaurant. Um, so originally I thought I was going to the uh, first one ever. Uh, turns out it wasn't. Um, that's in another part of Istanbul, but uh, either way, this is a, a cool one uh, right in the gold and silver and uh, jewelry district. So it is uh, uh, Sunday afternoon. Um, and off season it's uh, uh, December middle of December so quite quiet I was able to walk in get a table no problem um, and yeah the whole meal was about uh, I would say one hundred and ten dollars US so this is the cheapest uh, salt bay uh, on earth um, compared to they got them in the UAE uh, US uh, other places where you're paying quite a bit more than that so um, Again, I went reasonable. You can uh, definitely spend a lot more than that if you'd like to. Um, but yeah, I was satisfied and the experience was uh, was great. And uh, um, I think I got a couple followers out of it as well. So uh, thanks uh, so much for the great service, guys. And uh, I would recommend it if in Turkey. I don't know about in uh, some of the other locations where uh, the prices are much, much more, but uh, it was worth it here today and uh, would recommend it. Okay, here we go. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> ah. Oh. Yes. Jesus. Uh, where to go? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He's a magician. <laughs> yes. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Bye. Oh my goodness. You got me. I got nothing. <laughs> yes. Oh again, again. Oh the best. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. One minute. Okay. One Extra more. for you. Oh buddy. Bye bye. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. you see the smile you put on your face every time. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. You're the best. Bye. Oh, you gotta do it. The best. So yeah, definitely not ice cream weather, but uh, why not give it a shot here? When in uh, when in Rome, as I say, when in Turkey, you gotta have a Turkish ice cream. Flavor's unbelievable, and of course you get the free show. Um, but yeah, this is uh, 120 for a medium. They call it. So that's like uh, three scoops. That's uh, more than enough for me. And uh, again, still within that $10 budget. So you always can fit one in. Uh, I'm guessing most of you would be coming in the summertime. So again, much more popular then, but uh, still works today. All right, so to go up to that viewpoint, it's uh, 10 Turkish Lira per person. And by the view I had, it's worth every, uh, every Lira. I think that's a great deal that helps maintain the road and everything on the way up. And uh, uh, there's a few businesses up top, but I was the only one up there for uh, almost an hour, which is uh, mind blowing. So I really enjoyed that and worth every uh, Lira in my opinion. Hey all, so yeah, another uh, thing you can get with that $10 US budget, of course, is a uh, ice cold beer. So this uh, is called uh, FS uh, um, Pilsner. And yeah, nice, uh, uh, clean, crisp, uh, um, uh, easy drinking beer. I, I really enjoy it. Oh, that's nice. So uh, again, I got this at a, uh, a local store for uh, 60 lira for a uh, um, uh, 0.5 uh, liter. So uh, a big can here. Um, but uh, um, at a restaurant or a bar, you're you're looking at probably somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, I would say about a hundred uh, lira for uh, a pint. Um, in uh, again, I've been in a lot of touristy places, a little bit cheaper at uh, um, other 
restaurants and bars, of course. Hey, thanks again for watching another episode of Travel with Carter. I had an absolute blast here in Turkey. Uh, here I am taking off at the Istanbul airport, um, heading back to Canada. Um, and yeah, again, if you guys are enjoying what you're watching, please hit that button down below to subscribe, tell a friend, tell a family member, and I can keep uh, working on my goal to be the first person with type one diabetes to go to every single country in the world. So um, thank you again for all your support and uh, stay gold, Mal.